last time. Fucking boring ass dungeons. And uh, then, then like a lot of the plot happened all at once. Like, finally, did I adjust the sound back down to 30? I did. Okay, we're good. Uh, anyway, here we are back in Honk. This right here, what Gene says, kind of summarizes everything. Oh, I thought I was at the end of my story, but I'm just at the midpoint. I do like that even after he kicked his ass, Galleon still refers to Alex as the boy. <laughs> Listen, when you've got a grudge against someone, you keep that grudge as long as you can. That was some voice acting. What? Sometimes you just ask voice actor to yell. Yeah, you know what, chat? You're absolutely right. This music is very appropriate. Oh, I think Sor uh, Sorata probably had it right. That's probably the original Japanese voice clip. They probably didn't record a new one. Reboot was a thing at this time, right? It had to be. Reboot was 90s. Yes. Yes. I think they quote Reboot like three or four times in this game. I believe it. She'll be fine, whatever. Fuck it. Okay. I just want to see if anybody else had anything else to say after 
the revelation that he is a dragon. I want to say that they do explain the blue and black dragon, since yes, the original four dragons were killed. And we have Null, who was already around, and then Ruby, who was a wee tot. The tiniest tot. Mega Grudge. Mondo Grudge. Surely Leo will just give us the aura. Yeah, he's rational like that. And we won't have to do anything. Ch surely. Surely Leo didn't run off to face the goddess. Like a dumbass. Did they have a full heal up here? We're full healed anyway. <laughs> ah, there's their statue. It's at the bottom. I'll poke that statue for good measure. I'm the safe save. <laughs> I'm gonna hard save. What if I hard save? Do is we it? know where Leo is? Uh, I remember from my brain. That's a good place to remember from. What hour of this game are we on? Is it the 11th hour? 15. 15 and a half. Well, that's less fun. This is only the fifth session we're doing of this. Yeah, we're moving right along, though, because oh. you know this game, and... You know. You know this... Oh. Where where could Leo be? Well, then. Well, goodbye, Leo. I found him. It took all of my powers of deduction. Hold that thought. The Chosen. Their way is not right. I know it in my heart. However, I do not know how to escape from the web in which I've become ensnared. And my options now are severely limited. I know good must prevail. 
Prove it now with your sword. So Leo's kind of in the situation of wants to help, but hands are tied. Like, if he just gives up, they will come for him. Also, Leo gets his own boss fight music because, of course, he does. Oh, right! He's still dumb. You might have made a mistake there. Nope. Fight me, coward. I saved this for you, infidel! Kneel and perish. Actually, Joy Venus over here left the re regen on him. Kneel and perish. Saunders regening most of the damage he does. Is the gimmick? Who knows? I don't. I did say say right before come walking into this. I save this for you, infidel. It might just be number of turns. I should heal. I should nut up. So if he's casting, he's going to be using one of his Earth things. Sword is always going to be a single target. And if he's swinging this sword around like a normal attack, that means he's going to fucking heal. I think he just only heals once. They wanted to simulate. Taste my refreshment. <laughs> Sorry, I had forgotten about taste my refreshment. Leo's voice actor was having a great time. <sighs> Leo has the best lines in this game. Yep, that's it. Swing your sword enough times and then win the fight. It is extremely a one-on-one -on -one duel, which always sucks. Well, like heck you're not worthy. There goes the third best character. Maybe he'll bump into the second best character with that mask. Yeah, sure, you can post Ron Farr's run line. 
since like the way that you get run lines to occur is very weird. Hey, does this mean I have a free in? Did I just hop on the boat whenever? Get this free in? Oh, uh. This I will show before hopping onto the boat for real, though. That, okay, that's not what I thought it was. We'll get that in a little later. Never mind. They double down your dungeons. It's fast. It's way fast and don't give a shit. Ronfar did say it can move at wildly improbable or safe speeds. There was a request that you go visit your Gramps. I have not seen Grandpa in a while. This thing is wildly uncontrollable, I should e emphasize. Also, I don't think there's a world map, so it's kind of hard to tell when you're going places. Or how to get places. You don't have a giant mem mental map of the entire game? Newbie for shame. The entire game that we kind of went through very linearly? Yeah. Like, I know I have to get past this, but I don't know how. The long way around. Nope. Close. The longer way around. Do I go down this waterfall? No. Do I just go down here? No. Where? You have to get off the ship. That doesn't make any sense. There we go. I just went the wrong way. And we're free! We're free of the mainland. Freedom. Horrible, horrible freedom. There's my boat. I left the boat there. Oh my god, it has to load the overall music when you get off the boat. Youch. Hey Grandpa, I made a bunch of friends. Is this like when you go back and talk to Chrono's mom? That's it. Dang it, Gramps. Thanks, working designs. Nipple Yanker is an enemy name. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that's the only book that changes. All right. Probably. Let's get back on to the main quest. 
but I don't wanna. Remember the Blue Spire? It was so long ago. The what? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh I don't know my god. We can't go over. Right, yes, we can't go over forests. That's right. That was a thing. We walked past that. I don't remember what they called that, but I remember walking past that. It isn't the I the Ice Dragon's cave, so it's not something we're really worried about. Yeah, yeah. Ice cave, not the Ice Dragon. Whatever. We're going to the open waters. So that we can loop around. Gonna... You know, whoa! Yeah. Nope, that's Pandagonia. That's the town that burned down. Pass this way. Oh, right, there's open water right here, right next to where you start. Look at all these convenient glaciers blocking the way. And now we have to get out. Right here. But there's no encounters on the overworld map, so why does it even matter? Also, the overworld music's different now. This is the, uh, like the, the Act 3 music. The bad things have happened music. But we're gonna finish our fight. You're gonna finish it. Right. Also, welcome to the Ice Cave. It's the first dungeon from the first game. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, even with the dun- like, even down to the dungeon formation, it is- and like the enemies that you encounter, it's the first dungeon. Just the enemies are a little souped up? Yep. Gypsy magic! Like, the only thing in this formation right here that is- out of place is the, the Shiro. Otherwise, we fought Yetis and we fought Crystals. Time to shake things up. Mega Magic Flame! Was it Yetis, Crystals, and something else? Uh, flies. Also, that monster that is or was next to Hero is pretty cute. Yes. They are the uh, the metal slimes of this game. This was a crystal that you had to get the Eddie to run into in the first game to break it to open up a shortcut. It, yeah, it's really just the dungeon from the first game, except it looks... A lot nicer. Also, these things are here. Right, every time. Shiro, no. Sleep. 
Ah. They move. Gypsy magic! Ah, yes. Our one weakness. Movement. I wonder if we got to a point where Lucia is even more helpful because of all the stuff we just helped her out with and the uh, Goddess's Tower. I would think so. I would think it would just be that she uses her AoE more often in applicable situations. Wow, they shoot a beam. And <laughs> are very hard to get past. Flyers. They are annoying. So, Well, luckily we also know that this encounter is kind of like a non-issue. Uh, since Yetis here ha seem to be very vulnerable to... Uh, oh. That happened while Lumina was in captivity. Her fire AoE upgraded. Oh, the middle option? Hey, it did, you're right. Neat. Do we have a fire crest yet? No. I would probably have it equipped on somebody and using it at this point. Because everything is very obviously weak to... Fire. Mega magic I mean... Yeah, that's, I'm probably not going to go out of my way to, like, hear every voice line in the game. Oh, I can live. The ones that we stumble upon are way better that way. Oh, is this a... Is this what I think it is? It's been is this the upgraded to the wolves? Nope, it's just these guys. Yeah, these guys are taking that enemy look to this dungeon. Well, they're adorable, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, we always heard the ones we love is like the weirdest fucking voice line I think we'll ever find for Ronfar because it was so out of like... Why is that the voice line for using Earth magic? Gypsy magic! Maybe it's because Leo uses Earth magic and is reminded of Leo? I don't know. Time to shake things up! Right. Magic can actually knock people out of uh, sleep in this one. I think it's the first RPG to ever do that. <laughs> Uh. 
The snack ring. Dodge tank. Dodge tank. Dodge tank. Dodge and tackles. I was amused by the swarm dance is not going to work on the flies because they're, they're, they're flies just like the swarms that you're doing, so of course they're not going to take it to special effect. Exactly. I'll take care of this. Grandfather, we need to find a better second crest for you. Because your fucking HP leech one sucks. It's bad. He's only getting one or two HP. Does he get anything like stat wise out of it? No. It's just that every other que quest. Crest I could put on him lowers his attack, and we do actually use him to attack. Like, we just don't have a better crest to put on. I am already done with this enemy set. But they're so cute. They do look good. You're not wrong. I wonder, because this kind of looks like a Vaporeon, if that's, if they're off of the same, like, art source, or, like, inspiration. You know, I wouldn't have thought of that, of, are these a Pokemon? I mean, you could probably see a lot of the same inspiration for things from Pokemon and other things, just because Pokemon's pulled from so much stuff. Yeah. Um, also, I forgot. Those aren't actually the EXP pinatas. They're just... Yeah, they're fighting you. The, the yeah. XP, EXP pinatas would run away. Yes. They do get, Excuse me. They do give decent experience, though. Yeah. Do your thing. Well, they did the thing. Oh no. I'm trapped in a loop. You paid for this. Ah, <sighs> we're free. Oh, from downtown. Could have just skipped that. Like, I'm trying to skip... Ah, this enemy. This enemy. They're so fast. Like, there's no way that you're going to outrun half the enemies in this game. Well, they don't want you to, because that would mean you're not getting experience. That would mean that you're moving the plot along at a decent pace. Gypsy magic! Yeah, you know, I think what it is for me is that... The attack animations in this game are too long. Yeah, the wind-up for the spells or regular attacks and something, they have to just take too much time to pause, load the, vo load the oh voice. Oh my clip. god! By god. She can heal? She can heal? I mean, she's been shown to be able to heal in cutscenes before, so... She learned... How to sing. I'll take care of this. Well, there you go. Just as you said. Hey, maybe she will have gotten something new. 
Hooray! <sighs> oh no, 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 you don't get to yawn. You must be the bright and cheerful one that keeps poor me awake. Oh, uh, that was uh, a yawn that was going to segue into a question. Oh, okay. So, uh... How's Grand Blue been for you lately? Well, um, being able to totally play fair at all times, and I've always been playing it fair at all times, is annoying. Other than that, it's fine. Ah, yes. Same. Also. Wink. Yep. For those that are unaware, there is, uh... The bullshit that happened recently with Grand Blue. People are whiny babies. That's pretty much all I can put for that. Other than that, I've been playing a little it, bit of Stellaris. It, it is, it is less nice. that people are whiny babies and more that some people um, actually did some bad stuff using methods that other people were using just to introduce quality of life stuff into the game. So that whole idea is something that happens a lot in my workplace where because my company has a lot of different branches and such, if one person does something stupid, it ruins it for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. It used to be like the directors or the project managers, every so often we would bring in <gasps> a reward. Oh. Hello. Oh, it's the secret one. Man, to bring in rewards to people that's like food or something. Uh, in another branch, they had two people compete for, to see who could bring the best food for their rooms. And apparently they had been in some sort of uh, not so good, like, off the record relationship and were, like, actively competing with each other. So eventually management said, fuck it, nobody can bring anything in from here on out. You ruined it. Gypsy Workplaces are stupid. Yes. Um, I had that happen recently at my work. In the form of, uh, hey, you guys can work from home if you want to. And then there were people that were just working from home and nothing else. They were never coming into the office. And eventually they were like, okay, so we're paying for this building and there's like half of you that aren't using it at all. Uh, we don't want to pay for a building that nobody's going to use, so... Nobody can work from home anymore. Which is great. Of course it is. For you, it means you have to drive in, what, an hour? An hour, both ways. Yeah. There's a reason I asked my supervisor to be allowed to work from home two days out of the week. Three days, actually. Man, Jean keeps getting these range upgrades, and she never needs them. It's weird. It's so bizarre. Man, I can't believe we saw the metal slime when he got away. I mean, it's a metal slime. <gasps> got away to this fight. Um, oh my god, it attacked. We have a chance. Alright, so that doesn't do shit. Oh, and they paralyzed Hero, which was my best chance at doing damage to it. Yep. Unless I roll two sixes. Eh. You got a Asuna in that, that pocket there. Uh, nope. Y you, Lucia. My brain broke real bad for a second. It's okay. I I have that. I have that happen plenty of times in games I'm playing. We're like, who are you again? What's your name? Oh, uh, whatever. Who cares? Donut. Do not. Yeah, baby, yeah. 
Okay, so I have a question for you. Um, when did Awesome Towers come out? Uh, probably right before this. You sure? Not after? Or yeah, right before. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's how that would work. Ah, <sighs> fucking goddamn it! If Hero didn't get paralyzed turn one, we probably would have had it. Cause I don't know how much HP those things have. But I'm gonna doubt it's like with their super high defense and resistance to everything, it's probably not uh, like 120. Yeah, so Hero would have been doing about 15, 20 points of damage because that's how much he was doing last time. No, he did 30. Oh, he did 30? Okay. Yeah. I mean, Lamina was doing 30, was what I was basing yeah. that on. Well, of. she did like. 10 with her fire spell. I moved to the ice spell and she was doing 30. Gotcha. Well, next time. Ooh, that's a good one. Ah! Erase magic. Fuck all of it. You mean you buffed yourself like 16 times? Let me take care of that. Oh, this is just the cave that just has these enemies in it, isn't it? This is Slime Cave. The slimes, they've upgraded. Uh, I should heal. I am. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Why you do this? I was gonna say, well, at least Hero has health and doesn't take much damage, and then he got destroyed. We must hold together. Imagine if that had been against anybody else. Yeah, pretty much. Also, Hero's fine. What are you talking about? Lamina's gonna heal him a lot. And by Lamina, I mean Lucia. God damn it. Lamusia. Also, going back to that Austin Powers thing, if anyone was going to reference Austin Powers, it would be Ron Farr. Oh, yeah. 100%. It's just amazing that they actually did. Jean's playing her character too seriously. Lamina's character is too busy watching the Anims. And I don't know. Heroes. Uh, blank slate. The Endurance Ring is just a worse barrier ring. Of course it is. However... I mean, the problem is we can only equip four of our characters. Yeah. And one Lucia of them... does not care for your gear. One of them is keep making it so I don't have to worry about money as much. I don't think you really worry about money now. You say that until we hit the first town that I can buy something. Right, magic can't be used. You paid for this. You paid for this. You bought it. Oh. Maybe what? this uh this summer is gonna be the first time I'm a little sad I don't got a switch because. New Fire Emblem. Femblem. Femblem. I keep looking at it going, but is it gonna be good? Please be good. <sighs> There's parts of it that it's like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be good. And then like, like everything leading up to the last bit of information we got, I was like, 
yeah, no, this is all right. Like, there's some cool shit happening here. And then, like, the last year I tap and they're like, it takes place in the school where you're a teacher that trains all these students. I'm like, that's the stupidest fucking premise I've ever heard. Why would they do that? You had the whole idea of the three kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Screw the school idea. Mm -hmm. It was an anime, and then you made it very anime. You made it very had such promise. Oh, well, piss. We'll see. What did you do? Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because they didn't attack on the first turn. So that means they're both going to run. Lady Luck, be oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Um, I accidentally attacked the one on the top with Lamina. Oh, shit! Oh. Storm. Sorry, bud. It's really depressing to see double sixes only do 39 damage. All that work and you didn't get SWAT. Holy crap, it really is Fire Emblem Valkyria Chronicles 2. I forgot about that game. There's nothing over here. I came over here for no reason. Nothing! You get nothing! Twice. Twice in a minute, I got nothing. We don't have time for this. Huh. No, 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 yeah, it is the first person that goes, because that was Jean's line. Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, please. Uh, but yeah, it is the first person in your ATB will get the, uh, the voice clip. Yeah, the first person that gets him to run away, I guess? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So again, similar room. That last room wasn't in the original. But this room was, kind of. Magic can't be used. I'm still hopeful for new emblem, mainly because I want there to be a good, another new, good emblem. Um, because man, the last couple sure have. Mega Magic Flame! So, Awakening was okay for the most part. It just kind of lost steam at the end. Fates had a good premise. I like the idea of the warring households and such, but kind of dropped the ball. I kind of liked the remake of 2, but it was still based off of 2. So is... it had some really ass map design. Yeah. Like, there's a bunch of promise in there, but it doesn't quite work out. Like, again, I will point out, Fire Emblem Fates had some of my favorite maps in the entire series. Some of them were amazingly well made, and I thought the balance was perfect. And then it also had a bunch of crap. All right, so we released the crystals. Yep. We've, we've released the Kraken. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hold up. The Chiro and the Windcrest. Well, actually... The Chiro Crest. Oh, actually, I want to see if you put both of these on somebody, what that does. Okay. Alright. That's a combo that extremely exists. Okay. And we will utilize much later, specifically, for one person. Uh, for now, though, uh, I need to fix something else. Alright, look at him now. There's no fixing Ron Far and Lamina. What do you mean? Their speed is so bad. Oh yeah, that's not happening. You are never changing the party turn order here. 
You can maybe make Lamina go before Ronfar if you get a lucky level up. That's about it. Um. So. In exchange for now. Enables thunder wind combination, huh? Huh? Hold up. Yeah. Fujin and Rajin. Enables non attribute magic. Holy shit. Well, we need to extremely experiment with these. They found a way to get in. If you put the chairman and the shiro crest on somebody, they always go first. Interesting. You always win initiative. Which is nice. Alright, show me that combo magic. Alright, so she gets lightning rain, which is a single target, the zone. Uh, wind Cutter and Squall, and then she gets Thunder Tornado. I think we gotta see that. Okay. It's a little pricey, but it's okay. I do like that she said magic power recover when she's nuking some fools. Come back to me, elementals. Yeah, alright, sure, fucking why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> is, is there a problem? <laughs> I think you might have to do that again. Well, I also have to experiment with lightning. Hold up, let's get into one more fight. Heal up, heal up, heal up. It's fine, we're fine. He's fine. I was actually muted when the wind thing happened, so I've got to listen in this next time. Okay. I do want to do lightning first for me. Okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. Happy hour. Lightning blast. All right, that one's whatever. Alright, and then this one's for Chrome. Hooray! Happy hour! Like an eagle. God damn it! Yeah, that's like. I can't even be mad. <laughs> like, I can't even be mad. 
I feel like that might have been the voice actress just being like, you know what, I'm just gonna throw some stuff at the wall and see what works. It was extremely late in the production cycle, and they said, alright, we need you to record a line for each element attack, and everybody just went, what? No, how about you fuck off? Oh my god. Pulse explosion. A burst of bitterness. Oh, oh, that's good. Huh. They can, uh, they can do that. How much... I got starlights. I could just take crests oh. off of Hero if I wanted. Maybe. You should probably do that for the boss fight. If there is a boss fight. There's probably a boss fight. I'm not exactly sure where this move is going. I'll take care of this. What it says on the tin. Hey. It's not no mental damage. Speedstorm. Power. Oh, so he just goes faster. Power move. Ah. Right. Oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Maybe now. <laughs> All right. You've heard the combo magic. You've heard of the Earth for the Earth Elemental Hits. We could slap the Shiro combo for now. On Ronfar. <laughs> I guess. Wait, what? No. You're playing too much Final Fantasy Tactics. I was like, why isn't X going back? Alright, so do you... Do I need to get you guys? Yes, okay, I need to get you to shoot. And then block any passage I had into the room. If yeah, I exactly. Leave and come back, do you move? Yes, actually. Ah, and then I fucking ran into a wall. Alright, we fight one fight. Well done. We fight once. Hey, Ron Far, can you go punch that thing in the back? Be a doll. He can try. I mean, no, he can. That's the point. I did the move. Oh, I know, it's just, he can try- oh, I thought you meant kill it, and I was thinking, I don't know if he's gonna do it with one blow there, bud. Well, AoE fire will do a thing. I should just cast- Should go- like, so here's the problem with Lamina as a character. 
and like her skill set and all that. So Mia was, I believe, the fastest, if not one of the fastest. Uh, no. Other, other way around. She was one of the slowest. Was she? Nash was super fast. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, uh, no, it was. I put crests on her to make her fast. That's what I did. Or not crests. Uh, -huh. uh, uh rings. rings. I put like the, the Shiro ring on her. Which gave her like 20 speed or some shit. Um, nope. Well, I'm stuck here. Nope, I'm free. Okay. Um,. So that, that could be fixed. Lamia is so goddamn slow that the zone spells are almost never worth it. Vitality vital. Alright, that's the one that removes stat downs. Oh, right. Oh, jeez. I appreciate the game going, hey, you, you're going to have to kick that thing's ass. Hey, starlights are also percentile, I think. Oh, right. Let's uh, do the needful. You mean finally take off the thing that inhibits Pyro's magic? Yep. What? Now you can use post forward every single turn. Well, uh, her staffs only cast the level 1 versions of spells. So, Jesus Christ, look at this thing. It's having a good time. This thing fucking owns. This thing looks great. Remember to split up. Yep, I'm doing that right now. Yeah, it kind of looks like Seath, doesn't it? Oh, I should have topped everybody's HP off. I have safe state. Okay, let's see what this agility increase actually does. Cause I don't fucking remember. Watch this. Well, his agility is higher. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So that's what circle around the boss means. Fair enough. And you tanked that fairly well. Yeah, we didn't take too much damage. Uh... Hey, what's that symbol mean? Good things, I hope. <laughs> Y'all are wet. What? It doesn't like fire magic, huh? Well, it just so happens. Hmm. Pyro pillar or flame shot. Let's experiment. Let's 
same. Ah. Uh oh. Where's the dispel when you need it? I mean, I have that. Hi, hero. You're real. Happy hour. What about the agility of the? Maybe increases his range. wet mean probably a chomp no like you see the icon right yeah I see it hey buddy All right. I have no idea what the uh, the agility up does. It might up his movement. That's about it. Okay. Magic cure. And this is why we use dispel magic. Lucy, I love you. Other people needed that. Why? You got so many attacks. This one looks fun. Well, I can say this. The boss isn't boring. In case in the fitty zone. Happy hour. Mega magic flame. It does slightly more damage, but pretty much the same. Pain. Slightly more damage for six more MP. Oh, he's going to do that again. Uh, I should... Probably AoE heal to make sure everybody's topped off. And uh, hey... Gene. You want to be a secondary healer? Not a bad idea to wake up Hero so he doesn't get one shot. Exactly. Which we can. All right, banish again to the fifty zone. That just sleeps every time, doesn't it? Happy hour. Probably. You s suck. <laughs> That's really annoying. I'll live. Think of it this way: it's one hundred twenty points damage to one target, and you can heal everybody else up to full while it's happening. Yeah. Pain. I think next time we get in town, if we have excess money, we should buy more stat. Or not stat heals, uh. Ailment heals. Yeah, okay, he's gonna do his very weak AoE. So, I'll use this turn to. Uh. Cleanse, hero. I 
Ron Farr delivers that in the same sort of situation that I would deliver I love this in the situation of, man, this sucks. <laughs> that did more damage. I think those are field effects. I think last time you were defending most of the time with most of your people. Ah, you're right. I was. That's what it was. Pain. The most important thing is that we're going to get a double buff post sword off finally. And he's buffing, which means we can have Lamina effortlessly dispel him because she goes last. I think he actually goes, yeah, he goes first on the turns that he buffs. A little bit of a defense up. Yeah, so, you know, our team's going to do a little bit less damage, but... Or not? No, okay, yeah, a little bit less. Gene doesn't care about silly things like defense ups. Or just do as much damage so. as she wants. Well, that was a cute defense up that you did in attack, but. I don't remember what this move is. This is the nasty AoE. Oh. And it goes very late in the turn that it does this. Yeah. Hey, Ronfar, what if you... You know, Ronfar, throw some dice. He's weak to your dice. What if you get double sixes and just kill it? That'd be awesome. That would actually whip ass. That'd be the best thing to happen all night. Finally, the redemption of Ronfar. Okay, oh, right, in this one, attack buffs actually wear off. That's what it is. Double fours isn't bad, though. Yep. You know what? She might have used her single target spell after the turn that he buffed himself. Huh. Also, welcome to the turn where Hero's gonna get put to sleep for two turns in a row. What kind of dragon is that? A corrupted one. I don't know. Yes. Yes, dragon. Dragon, yes. Dragon, no. Oh, why do you go before hero? Happy hour. Well, we know... Okay, we know Ravhart goes after the dragon Mega when it does Mega that. Game. So, next time we see that... Well, no, he has to... He's had to heal the party that time. Gene goes first. I can math this out. I'm smart. Yes. I'm curious what will happen if he's... Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out. This could go very poorly for me. Who's this gonna hit? Who do you think? All right. Um, I mean, hero. Yeah. Question is, same damage. All right. Interesting. Happy hour. Mega magic flame. Lord, though. 
At this point, hey, Lunar 2 bosses, am I right? Do you want to know how much HP this thing has? Nah, let's save that. Okay. This thing has a very fixed AI pattern, though. Yeah, I have noticed. I think a lot of the bosses actually do. Dodge this. There it is. Yeah, you were pretty close. It has forty-five hundred health. Or had. That's a big number. I mean, the main problem there was that Hero kept getting put to sleep. And Hero yep. was the highest DPS on the team. Alright, I did my best, but I'm tagging out. Good luck. Good night. Alright, so the crests are actually really rad. Um, these are maybe like some of the best customization that you can do uh, around various things. I kind of like all my setups on everybody right now. Um, yeah, we'll do it on Hero. So the crests give you the dragon spells from the first game. Like, wholeheartedly. 100%. And the white one is the best one. Ah, hello. Hey. Uh, Someone tagged out. I had to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, the other ones all have their purpose. The white one is the most universally useful. Yeah, that's the one that helped me win the first game. Yep. Fire, uh, for a reminder. Uh, white is a 100% protection from damage to the entire party. Red is an AoE attack. Blue is heal everybody to full. And black, I think, was kill all enemies. I did hear you happily laughing when you said we're going to the blue dragon seal next. Yes. Yes. Yeah, what I like about this game is... Yeah, I forgot how annoying some of the dungeons are, but the story does get better. Here you're seeing all the locations for the next bit of story. Don't think this is like plot will start up right away. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just imagining what 
the townsfolk are seeing when the Dragon's Troop Destiny is just driving around aimlessly around the place. Okay, I can run around town for a little bit. Yeah. Because I want to purchase. And I wish to purchase your goods. I want to purchase your best fan. Ditch the sword. Ditch these arm guards. This. You know, due to inventory limits not being as much of an issue in this one, I think mm -hmm. I'll hold on to an angel ring just in case. The fuck Sounds is this? Good. Oh, right. The thieves' staff. Why did I ever take that off? <laughs> hold up. What Can am I sell doing? The bromides? No. Get him out of your inventory? No. No. Oh. I'm cursed. Samurai sword. Slightly better. But heavier. Oh, look how expensive this shit is. I always go with defensive equipment first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Well, the thing is that offense makes fights last less time, though. I mean, you're right. But if I die... Yeah. Also, and I think no... I'm just... I'm just gonna be able to get everything. So is Null wearing a hat, or does he just, uh... comb his hair straight down the middle with the middle part? Hmm... Good question. Are you saying that he has like sort of a a flat top? Or not a flat top, a uh A middle part, like uh you'd see on like Dawson from Dawson's Creek in the nineties. Because then I think hairstyles. From the nineties. I, I think of Dawson from Dawson's Creek. Yeah. Doesn't everybody? I will never sell my collection of staves. Just staff after staff after staff? A staff for every occasion. That's right. I do like that there's the Platinum Blade, but also the Samurai Sword just being sold at the same shop. Who can use a Samurai Sword, though? Main character. Oh, you're okay. Whoops. Went one step too far. Fight with honor. Wait, so if you fight without the uh, Samurai Sword, you're not fighting with Arner? I mean, them's the rules. Oh, man. I don't make them. I just follow them. That's why uh, only the most honorable people in Dark Souls uh, use the katanas. Okay. I thought the best thing to use would be Havel's uh, gigantic... Uh, Whatever yeah. that is. Is it Dragon's Tooth? With a bunch of katanas. Oh, okay. Fair Dual wield. Alright. Now I have a bunch of things to... Uh... Just heal conditions, so we're mm -hmm. good forever. Also, they just sell war warrior? <laughs> warrior and power crests here, in case you wanted to go buck wild. Hmm. Well, there are warriors in this place, right? They do know Kung Fu. Win Karate. Oh, wait, I think the protection ring is the good one. Nope. Wrong. Bury your ring. Mm -hmm. Where did I put the protection ring on? Because I did pick one of those up. Yeah. Or do I, I just have two now? So no. there's wind karate. What other karates are there? Alright, hold up. I actually have to point this out. Hold up. Mm. Okay. 
they have consistently been giving us worse and worse defensive rings. Because <laughs> the first one they give us is the barrier ring, which is plus 15 defense and magic defense. Then they gave us the endurance ring, which is plus 16 defense. And then they gave us the protection ring, which is just plus 10 defense. Hmm. Well, maybe not everyone's wearing the best rings right now. It's just weird. It's like backwards game progression. Yeah, it's like a randomizer. There you go. Bring it all back. Yeah, I only have two things I can talk about, so unfortunately, me coming back. Much like a boomerang. That's right. An herb. Just a singular herb. <laughs> Here, well, in, in the second half of the game. I mean, you are basically rummaging through people's yards and stealing things. <laughs> a gem, is eh? I get it. It's just in somebody's room. <laughs> it's more of the uh, the Skyrim methodology for going to someone's house and stealing their stuff. It's just so weird that there's garbage in all these houses. <laughs> This owns. This is the best joke ever. The drunken fits users that are only pretending to be drunk. Well, it will put the other people at ease, I guess. Ah, uh, well. I'm not ready to start up another story. No. Nope. This is a good story. Yeah, we'll have to call it here right before the best plot line. But, so it is. Mm -hmm. Next time. <laughs> Lunar 2 presented by the Shaw Brothers. <laughs> <laughs>